The Boston Tea Party wasn't your typical sit down and chat about the weather kind of tea party. It was an act of objection to the newly passed Tea Act of 1773, which allowed tea to be shipped from Britain duty free and let those companies sell it for a lower price. It was the Townsend Act of 1767 that placed tax on tea and other goods. The British government received harsh criticism after this move. They needed a bit more money to get rid of all their debt from an array of expensive wars and help save the East India Company, a large importer of tea whose sales were dwindling as a result of American boycotting. After all, colonists were drinking 1.2 million pounds of tea per year, so even a small tax could make a big difference. Mind you, there weren't nearly as many people in the States as there are now. The colonists complained it was unfair, so the British government took the tax off the other goods, just not the tea. Colonists refused to pay the tax and boycotted it. The Brits tried selling discounted tea to get the colonists to deal with the tax. Yet again, they would not pay it. Colonists decided to hold meetings regarding how they might go about continuing to avoid paying the tea tax. One operation they did was stop a tea selling ship, the Dartmouth, from docking in Boston Harbor in November 1773. Two more ships came and the meetings kept going. The last meeting had 5,000 attendees and was on December 16, 1773. After many efforts to get help from the collector of customs and the governor, all were turned down. However, the Sons of Liberty, an underground society, had come up with a plan in case the governor said no. This organization and many colonists dressed as Native Americans to hide their identity and climbed aboard the ships. On them, they dumped 90,000 pounds of tea into the Boston Harbor. The actual event took place on the night after the last meeting, December 16, 1773. In the States, the Boston Tea Party was viewed as a bold strike to show the British government that the colonists were not easily pushed around. The Brits thought what the colonists did was vandalism and crime. The rest of the world was unimpressed and continued drinking the tea. It wasn't until a few years later that the British government removed the tax. Whether you think it was a noble cause or not, it was certainly a historic event.